All right, so your macronutrients, so meal timing, which is very important to gaining muscle, right? Really, nothing changes, right? Major meal, two to three, three hours before the workout. High carb, this is your highest carb meal of the day. And of course, more, moderate protein, don't need that much. Low fat and fiber, because you're gonna work out, you want your stomach empty. And then see where the red is, right here, instead of chicken and rice, or, or, or your whatever protein source you're using, use tofu. And then, of course, your pre-workout now, 20 to 40 minutes, you would use your plant protein right here. And I put all these numbers in here because people always ask me, well, well, should I take 25 grams before? The reason is 25 to 40. Someone like me that's a shriveled up old man, I'm resistant to protein. My body, I'm not supposed to be here. So your body turns off in your 30s to protein. You need more. The older you get, the more protein you need. You know, my, my two sons, professional athletes, they're twice the size I am, and I need twice the protein they take. So, you know, keep that in mind that the older you get, the more protein. That's why I put that number in there, 25 to 40. But here's, this is it by weight. So I gave you an example. It's really two grams per pound. I always cracks me up. You know, people are like, well, 25 grams is all the body can use. Wait a minute. The world's strongest man is 450 pounds. And I've got a female or a male competitive physique athlete weighing 140. Do they get the same? I mean, so they, they, they can use the exact same number than the, than the 450 pound uh, world's strongest man? Mm -hmm. Bad science. Okay, so these are the facts here. If you really want to get, I, I just make it easy for people because, you know, people don't want to do the math. But I put it out here for you anyway. For all you science heads. But the goal before you start your workout is stomach empty as possible. That's why I put the quotes around it. Energy system's full because all that stuff digested and pushed into the muscle, glycogen stores, all that. Blood sugar stable, hydrated, and that would help decrease the damage, of course. All right, during exercise now, this is just the water, obviously. Uh, longer than 60 minutes, we say go ahead and put a sports drink in there if you want. But now, this is for gaining muscle. What we do, and you guys have seen it, I call it stacking. So you're taking your pre-workout protein, but before your workout and during the workout, you can drink the amino boost to keep that muscle protein synthesis light on. Because those are the eight amino acids that are involved in muscle protein signaling. So they, they end up going right to mTOR, right to the mammalian target of rapamycin. So they almost bypass spline stick extraction and everything else and get right there and turn the light on. So you're actually telling your body to build muscle while you're breaking it down, which is, you know, one, what we call that stacking. And we do that for all of our competitive athletes. You wouldn't do that for your normal exerciser, obviously. And of course, faster recovery. So that's during exercise. Post-training eating is exactly the same. As soon as you finish the activity, it's the same as your pre-workout formula. And of course, we know that we have this little 60 minute window after here. When I say 60 minutes, really, in my opinion, it's a one minute window. The second you stop working out, right? Okay, your, your, your body is so sensitive. It's just looking for all the materials to build it. I mean, that's what it does. Once you, once you do damage, I always, that's why I always make the joke, does exercise build muscle? Well, of course it doesn't. It only tears it down. It's what you put back into it that builds the muscle. So that's what it's doing. As soon as you tear it down, all, the body automatically turns on all of it. It's very sensitive to nutrients. It's just looking for all the stuff to rebuild it. And that window, and after a while, if you don't bring that to it, it just gets quiet, quiet, and slows down. doesn't mean you're not going to build muscle from the workout if you miss that window. You still will. Okay? It'll happen somewhere else during the day, but not like it happens in this window when the enzymes are very high and looking for all that lumber to rebuild the tissue. It's ready to go. You put it in there too late, you miss that window, and you miss a lot of gains and a lot of recovery. So we've learned that over the last 20 years. And you would use, obviously, the plant protein because you're a vegan. And then, of course, about an hour after that, you would consume your regular post-meal, post-workout meal. So those are your meal timings all the way around. I put this in here, too, special considerations, uh, early morning. Now, again, when, it, when we go, because, you know, as you guys know, we work with – professional and college athletes, any high school athletes and ever, everything else. So we, it's different for them. If you, what we, if you go from bed to field or bed to gym, as we call it, then what you want to do is have your large pre-training meal before you go to bed the night before. 
And some people, you know, if they eat right before they go to bed, maybe they can't sleep. So you got to kind of figure out where that is. But you want to load your systems the night before. So when you wake up, you still got your glycogen in your liver and you still have glycogen, a little bit of glycogen in the muscle. And then just use your pre-workout shake or you can use one of the bars. And of course, now that we have the vegan sticks, which are actually very good. And I am so not vegan, but I, I actually like those very much. You can use those as well. But you want to do that's all you would take then because you don't have time for a big meal before you work out when you go bed to gym or bed to field.